today on Max Handy Gadgets. We're back in the workshop working on this old air conditioner remote that the homeowner put dead batteries in and they leaked everywhere and I think it ruined the board or corroded something. So let's take a look. Yep. Definitely corroded everything in there. And they said they cleaned it up pretty good but you can see evidence of it being corroded really bad. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what we find out. Yeah, let's take it apart. See if we can pry this open. Okay. All right. Now these springs kind of got to go through these holes. So you kind of lift this up a little. Okay. Yep, I can already tell that there's some damage there. Can you see it? Right up in here. It's all corroded right there. And down in here, it's kind of corroded. You can see that, right? Yep, okay. So, let's take a closer look at this board. Let me see if I can get you a better shot of the board there. Zoom me in a little bit. Yeah, this is the perfect time to use our macro lens that we made to fit on the Acaso Brave 7. Yeah, let's give that a try. Here's the mount for it. And here's the lens. Yeah, that looks good. But we only need this part right here. The macro lens, right there, yeah, okay, let's put that on and see what we see, yeah, see if we can zoom in on that circuit board, yeah, the cap just unscrews, and then this part right here screws onto the mount, just like this, and then this part comes right off. This is the wide angle lens. Yeah, we don't need that. Super wide. Yeah, we don't need that. We want to get in tight. So we need the macro lens, this one right here. Okay, let me put this on and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, this is without the macro lens and even if I get in close, that's about it right there before it gets blurry. So let's try our lens. Now this lens just clips right on. We designed it to clip on our Acaso Brave 7. We've made a little mount for it, yeah. I'll leave a link in the description for that because it was really easy to do. It took a little while, but it's really worth it as you'll see in a couple minutes. Okay, let me put that lens on and I'll bring you back. Okay, now we have our macro lens on and you can see it's blurry, but when we get real close, it clears right up, look at that. Wow, you can see all the different circuit tracks there. And you can also see the corrosion. Yeah, let me set this up in a vise and we'll look at it closely together. Yeah. Okay, there's a close up with the micro lens that we made for our Caso Brave 7. Boy, that looks nice. That's close. Okay, you can see the tracks and, and all the corrosion, yeah. Now let's move it down this way just a little bit so you can see the corrosion. Yep, you definitely can see the corrosion down here in the battery compartment. Yep, all right. It looks like it, it leaked from about here all the way up there. So if you look closely, you can actually see the corrosion right here on these terminal pins. Yeah, and it went all around too, everywhere. And right here, this little capacitor here, right there, that is really corroded looking. So we're gonna have to do something about that. Maybe clean it up with alcohol and see what happens. And I think it got under the board though and got into the contacts where the buttons are again. So. <laughs> there you go. 
uh, we, we might have button trouble. We might have to get into this a little deeper than just cleaning. But we'll clean it and see what happens. Right? Yeah, it's definitely corroded. Up here there's more corrosion. Can you see it? Right up in here. And I think they're probably corroded. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's give this board a good cleaning and see if it works. If it doesn't work, we'll have to get in deeper. Let's try a little alcohol on a brush. Looks pretty good. Try this. If you can see through that hole right there, I think that corrosion is under the board and between the layers or between the buttons yeah so we might have to take this board out and peel the buttons off you know and get under there yeah Okay, that looks pretty good there. Let's move down and see if there's any other spots. Well, we might as well go ahead and clean up here a little bit. Okay. Now let's move down this way and see if we can get that tiny capacitor clean right here that one right there yeah okay let's let this dry and then we'll uh, give it a test and see if it works. If it works, then, you know, we just need to clean it. But if it doesn't, that means we got to tear the board out and maybe get to those buttons. Hopefully we don't have to do that. Okay, let's let it dry. Okay, the board looks pretty dry. I'm going to zoom out and I'll give it a test. Hopefully it works. Okay, let's test it out. Let's hook our leads up to our IR bulb here now we're going to go ahead and hook our power supply up we'll connect the ground and we'll connect our power up to the plus side okay there you go now we're going to flip this over, hopefully not short anything out. Let me see if I can get the meter in the shot here. See when you push the button? That should go to like 2 volts. And there's nothing changing. Okay. So, that's not good. There's a little resistance going through the bulb itself, but when you hit hit that power button, that should go to almost 3 volts, like 2.8. So there's something wrong with the board. So that's got to come out. That's what we got to do. We're going to take it apart again. All right, let's unhook everything. Take our power off. And we'll disconnect our our meter. And 
and we'll see if we can get this out I think we can just push out the board here okay there you go all right okay we're out there's the board and if you remember we peeled this all back and we fixed this button and we cleaned everything up but if you look on right here it looks like some of the corrosion from the, the battery leakage made it past that silicone and got under there especially on this side it went through them little holes and went right down into the board yeah okay we're gonna have to check into that and see if we can peel this back and get under there and see what's going on okay let's do that okay before we do anything I went ahead and tested that capacitor there and these capacitors up here and they all tested good and we tested the diodes that are up here too and they actually tested good you know and over here there's a resistor that tested good too so we have all good components here yeah this chip here it had corrosion all around it so I don't know if it's really any good but we cleaned it as best we could and on the other side there we have those buttons yeah I think we're gonna have to get into them and take the buttons off and clean under there again because I detect some liquid damage there um, yeah okay let's do that we'll clean the buttons up and give it a final test and see if we can bring this back to life okay okay let's go ahead and see if we can peel these buttons back here a little bit with a knife okay I'm cutting through the glue that we put on and let's keep going all right keep going okay let's see what we got here there they are the buttons and that's the one we fixed let's see how they are oh yeah I can see where the liquid damage got all up in there especially up in here how did it get way up there okay well let me work on that and we'll clean them up real good and then we'll clean up our board yep it definitely liquid damage right there okay okay let's move this out of the way for a minute we'll bring in our buttons and we'll go ahead and try to clean them up again a little dirty you can see where the liquid damage was yeah from the batteries all that acid definitely acid okay yep Okay, that looks pretty good this one was the damage button but we kind of glued it in place and then we put a piece of rubber tubing over top to make it solid yet still springy so okay let's go ahead and clean up our board we have our rubber cement that we have down here we got to peel off Yep, yeah, that held in place pretty good. But now we got to clean the board up here. You can tell liquid has went all the way up here. You wonder how it got all the way up here. Interesting. Okay. Let's clean them up a little. Especially this one right here.
A little bit dirty, not bad. Okay. All right, let's let that dry. Okay, here are the buttons. Yep, yeah, it looks like this one is going to fall apart here. See it? It's just too brittle. Even though we captured it in that rubber and it will hold, but it's kind of wore out. It definitely doesn't look like it'll clean up, you know, and make good contact. So we got to come up with a different idea for that. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I have some conductive rubber tubing that I can use and either glue it on there or maybe just cut that right out and put a new button right in there for the power button you know and on this side you can tell that some of these are cracked around the edges you can actually see that let me get the micro lens on here and you can see it better okay here it is right here and you can see how messed up that button was and cracked and out of place and it had glue on it and all kinds of stuff but it worked for a while yeah also if the battery didn't leak you know it probably would have been still working but right here you can see these are all they're all cracked yep so if we let them go any further that none of them will work you know so we're gonna have to do something with it I think I'm going to end up cutting this one out completely, you know, and putting a different kind of switch in or a new contact switch with some of my conductive rubber tubing on there. Yeah, that'll probably work. But over here, to hold the rest of these in place, because they're, you can see them, they're, they're getting brittle. We might have to just coat this whole thing with, you know, a piece of, uh, heavy gauge packaging tape or something anything just to hold them in place you know and give them a little more rigidity yeah okay let me work on this button here and I'll show you what I come up with and then we'll give it a test yeah let's do that because you can't find these remotes I looked you can't find them so there you go. Alright, let me work on that and I'll bring you back and we'll show you what I come up with here for that power button. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. We'll bring in a piece of wood. And we have a punch here that we're going to use. It'll cut a nice hole. It's a hole punch. And we're going to go ahead and... Can you see it? We're going to go ahead and punch that right out of there. Punch a hole in there. You know? And then we're going to go ahead and use these contacts. Now these are silicon rubber contacts with graphite material on the back to make contact with the board. So maybe we can go ahead and cut one of these right out of there and make a button. What do you think? That looks good. That seems like it'll work really good and make contact with the board okay let's go ahead and punch this out and see what happens see if we can get something glued on the outside there and and make the button work yeah Ready? Let's punch it out. Okay, there you go. Punched a nice hole in there perfectly. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to punch out our contact right here. Right there. We'll use one of those and we'll make it just a little bit bigger than the hole. Then we can glue it on the outside there. Yeah. And it should go in pretty far and make contact when you push on the button. It might work good. Okay, let's give it a shot. 
Okay, let's get this out of the way. And we'll move this over so we can get a better spot to use our punch. Okay, let's take our hole punch and punch out our button. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay, let's see how we did. All right, not too bad. Okay. Okay, now what we're gonna do with this button we made, we're gonna go ahead and try to glue that right on top of there, just like that. Yeah. Before we do that, we're gonna make sure it's nice and centered in the hole, and we'll put a mark or just put a little dab of glue there to hold it so we know it's in the right spot. Then we'll glue it up permanent. Okay, let me work on that and I'll bring you back. Okay, here's our button assembly. Can you see it? It's all glued up, you know? Let me put the macro lens on so you can see better. Okay, the macro lens is on. Okay, there you have it, our new button. And it comes through the hole in the back. And it really does make a nice contact because you can see it, it moves really freely. And it'll contact that circuit board. Yeah, and should turn on the, uh, the air conditioner. Okay, now we're gonna clean up this surface and this surface because these are cracked a little bit around the edges of the other ones so they're gonna go and fall out pretty soon too <laughs> they're kind of crispy so we're gonna go ahead and coat this with something we're probably gonna put some thick packaging tape on here just to kind of like protect it and maybe hold it all together what do you think think that'll work and we'll just notch around our new button here and it should work out pretty good. All right, let's do that. Okay, let's go ahead and clean these up. Put a little alcohol on there and rub it down a little. Got a little dirt off there, didn't we? Okay, that ought to do it. We'll flip it over on the other side. And we'll clean that. Okay, now we'll go ahead and let that dry and let our button dry. Yeah, that looks like it's going to work good. Okay, we got a nice thick piece of packaging tape here. So let's go ahead and put that down over the rest of those buttons and maybe hold them in place for a while, you know, and protect it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, kind of push down on that and it'll make like an airtight seal around each button. Okay. Okay, let's just go ahead and cut that out of there. Okay, let's see how we did. Beautiful. Okay, that looks better. 
and that'll hold them in place those buttons if they should decide to crack a little more you know and the back of them you can see little cracks but yep that should make them more water resistant <laughs> yeah okay and our new button seems to be working really good can you see it okay maybe I'll put the macro lens back on you can see it really good okay there you go there's our new buttons they seem to be doing pretty good especially this one you know it's sealed up around the edge and when you push on it it really comes up nice makes contact with the board yeah okay let's put this back together and give it a test okay we have our test leads hooked up to our IR bulb and when we push our new button the meter should read about 2.6 nominal voltage from the battery okay let's give it a try okay here we go I don't want to push too hard you know the glue might fly out but can you see it I'm getting ready to push it okay I'm pushing it right now yep okay we're good I'm taking it off right now beautiful all right it's working we got it back working again <laughs> yeah I can't believe we fixed it again okay let's go ahead and assemble it and I'll bring you back well there you have it guys our air conditioner remote is now working again I can't believe we fixed it for the second time but yeah hopefully they don't put any more of them exploding batteries in there I cleaned up the contacts pretty good so it should be okay let's see how long it lasts this time <laughs> yeah okay yeah the button feels really good can you see it yep works good all right let's button her up and we'll call that good and we'll give it back to the uh, neighbor here and hopefully uh, it works good for him okay well there you have it guys if you're enjoying these videos go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one yeah this is really uh, something here yep I didn't think we'd be able to fix it but we did thumbs up on that <laughs>